We're standing in the theater in the city of Ephesus, one of the greatest theaters in all of the Greek Roman world in ancient times. This city of Ephesus was famous for the temple of Diana or Artemis, who was a huge statue and all the world came here to worship her and pay their tribute. Uh, there were many craftsmen here as well who sold uh, souvenir idols to those who would come to worship Artemis in this place. Uh, this city is famous because Paul visited here and founded a church here. Paul actually spent three years ministering here in Ephesus and would know this theater very well. Not only Paul, but the Apostle John came here and ministered here for a number of years himself until he was exiled to the Isle of Patmos where he wrote the Gospel of John and the Book of Revelation. This city was a place of change. So often at home, Christians seem innocuous and irrelevant, but they weren't in the time of Paul. In the time of Paul, the Christians turned the world upside down. This is what happened when uh, Paul was ministering here, as we read in the book of the Acts, uh, when Paul uh, was taking over the, uh, 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 the loyalty of the Ephesians uh, to uh, the Christian faith. About this time, there occurred no small disturbance concerning the way of Jesus Christ. For a man named Demetrius, a silversmith, who made silver shrines of Artemis was bringing no little business to the craftsmen there. He gathered together with the workmen of similar trades and said, men, you know that our prosperity depends upon this business. You see and hear that not only in Ephesus, but in almost all of Asia, this Paul has persuaded and turned away a considerable number of people saying that gods made with hands are no gods at all. Not only is there danger that this trade of ours fall into disrepute, but also that the temple of the great goddess Artemis be regarded as worthless, and when she whom all of Asia and the world worship will even be dethroned from her magnificence. When they heard this, they were filled with rage. They began crying out, saying, Great is Artemis of the Ephesians! The city was filled with confusion, and they rushed with one accord into the theater, this place, dragging along Gaius and Aristarchus, Paul's traveling companion from Macedonia. When they recognized that they were Jews, a single outcry arose from them as they shouted for about two hours, Great is Artemis of the Ephesians! Paul and the early apostles turned their world upside down, Christians, like the apostles, should always be subversive of any unbelieving culture, even in Canada. We need to stand up for the truth of the gospel as Paul and the other apostles and disciples did, and stand firmly for the truth of Jesus Christ. And then we can face any obstacles being subversive to those enemies of the truth of God in the face of our Lord Jesus Christ. I think for me, Ephesus is one of the highlights. It was really one of the reasons why Marilyn and I chose to come uh, because of its importance in the Bible. Um, we took the bus there the, the morning that we arrived in, uh, in Kuduche. Um, we drove along quite a ways. And in fact, when we got out of the bus, it was a very unimpressive sight. It was just a couple of, of arches. However, as the guide took us through through the, the town or the ruins of Ephesus and talked about the historical and cultural importance, uh, I was really quite, quite impressed. The town was home to a population of 250,000 people in ancient times. And uh, as we walked through the, through the ruins, we could see where actually a number like that could be supported. Um, it's very moving to, to hear the stories of Paul and, and how he ministered to the population there. And at the end of the, that particular tour, we uh, came upon an amphitheater which sat 25,000. It was, it was really quite magnificent. And the acoustics were wonderful. We had Wayne singing in the, uh, uh, from, the, um, from the floor of the amphitheater, and you could hear it very, very well up at the top. So I think that was probably one of the main highlights for me.